Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to start to talk about component styling and we are going to introduce the NG class core directive. As we have seen before, many of the styles that we are using here are coming here from this global styles.css file. We can also add styles locally at the level of the component as we will see. Right now let's talk about a particular type of styles which are conditional styles. These are styles that are added to sections of the page depending on the content of the data. So unlike the styles that we have here, such as for example the course card class, there could be a class that is added here to our course card depending on if for example the course is of category beginner or not. Let's now go ahead and add such a conditional class to our component. We're going to add it directly here at the level of the component CSS file itself, which is currently empty. We are going to first start by writing our CSS selector and what we are going to target is this container div here that is wrapping the whole course card component. Let's then create a style that targets any element that has applied this course card class and let's add here an extra CSS class beginner. So this CSS class is also known as a state class. This state class is going to be applied only to courses of type beginner. Let's make this beginner class very visible in our screen. We are going to add here a bright color such as for example this one. And let's try this out to see if this style is working correctly. So if we head over here to our course card component, let's quickly add here the beginner CSS class and see that indeed we can very quickly spot a card with this style, but the style as we can see here is being applied to all the cards. We want to apply it only to certain courses. Let's then start by removing here the CSS class and see how can we apply styles using ng-class instead. ng-class is a core directive that comes bundled with Angular. So with the ng-class directive, we are going to be able to pass an argument that is going to turn on or off certain CSS classes. The expression that we pass in here to ng-class can take several forms. We can pass to ng-class a string, we can pass also an array and we can also pass it a configuration object. Let's explore the three possibilities. Let's see for example how can we pass a class that we want to activate using a string. We can do so by passing in a string here and passing the beginner CSS class. So as we can see this string that gets received gets interpreted as CSS and the CSS class is added to the page. Now notice one thing, this string does not have to contain only one CSS class. We could potentially add here several CSS classes separated by a space. So if we try this out, you can see that the style has remained unchanged and our cards look the same as before. It's not recommended to apply this type of styles that are constant using ng-class. These type of styles are better applied using the CSS class property as usual. ng-class is really meant only for conditional styles. Another thing that we can pass to ng-class instead of a string is an array. So we can pass in here an array of strings containing a list of all the CSS classes that we want to apply to a given element. So again, if we pass in here these two CSS classes, we are going to see that they are being correctly applied here to our template as expected. Another thing that we can pass to ng-class is a configuration object. So instead of passing a string or an array of strings, we can instead pass in here an object whose properties are the names of the CSS classes that we want to apply and whose values are true or false depending on if we want to apply the style or not. So as we can see our styles are still working as expected but if we now set here the beginner class to false we are going to see that the beginner class is no longer being applied to the template. Now notice the following about ng-class. We don't have to pass in here as the expression pass to ng-class directly an object that is hard-coded here at the level of the template. Instead what we can do is we can call a function that returns 
turns us this configuration object. This is actually the recommended approach in order to keep the template readable. So we are going to call here a new method called card classes. And we are going to create this new method here at the level of our component. So this method is going to return to the template the same thing that we were returning before. Let's start here with a simple example. We are going to return here a configuration object, which was the last example that we gave. Notice that this method could also return a string or an array of strings like we have seen before. Those are also accepted by ng class. So if we try this out, we are going to see that again, we still have here the correct styles applied. If we return here the value true, we are going to see that now the beginner class is being applied as expected. So this is a better way of adding some conditional styling to our class to call a method and add here our logic in TypeScript. We are going to now apply the logic of only activating this class for beginner courses. And we are going to do that in the following way. We are going to access here course. We are going to access the category property and we are going to check if the category property is equal to beginner. If that is the case, then the CSS class is going to be applied because we have here true. Otherwise, this is not going to be applied because we get false. Let's see this in action. If we now hit refresh, we are going to see that our beginner class is only being applied to certain courses. And if we confirm the courses that are receiving the CSS class here in our DB data file, we are going to see that indeed the first beginner class on the list, it's this RxJS in practice course. So the style is being correctly applied as expected. Before giving a few more examples, let's take the time to remove this class here from our configuration object, because as mentioned, we should only define here styles that are conditionally applied. So this style is better applied here at the level of the class property. Now let's take a moment to see how this conditional styling logic could have been written in a simpler way. So returning a configuration object is only one possibility like we saw before. So let's rewrite this so that we return instead a string. So what we're going to do is we are going to add here an if clause we are going to test inside this if clause if this is a beginner course and if that's the case we are going to return here either an array containing the beginner string or we can also return the string directly. Let's start first with the example of an array. We are going to try this example out and see if everything is working correctly. So as you can see the style is indeed being correctly applied and we don't get here any errors at the level of the console. So our logic is working correctly here. Instead of returning an array because we only have one element, we can also return here a string directly. And again, the logic is being correctly applied. And with this, we have covered the ng class core directive. Let's quickly summarize when is this directive meant to be used. We should use ng class whenever we want to add or remove a style to our template, depending on the content of the data. Typically, we only use ng class to add or remove a few styles per component. ng class is not meant to replace the CSS class property. So if the styles are constant and they are always associated to an HTML element, we should add them in the CSS class property as usual. Let's now move on to our next Angular core directive, ng-style. 